Writing is a medium of human communication that represents language and emotion through the inscription or recording of signs and symbols. In most languages, writing is a complement to speech or spoken language. Writing is not a language but a form of technology that developed as tools developed with human society. Within a language system, writing relies on many of the same structures as speech, such as vocabulary, grammar and semantics, with the added dependency of a system of signs or symbols. The result of writing is generally called text, and the recipient of text is called a reader. Motivations for writing include publication, storytelling, correspondence and diary. Writing has been instrumental in keeping history, maintaining culture, dissemination of knowledge through the media and the formation of legal systems. It is also an important medium of expressing oneself by way of written words as do authors, poets and the like. As human societies emerged, the development of writing was driven by pragmatic exigencies such as exchanging information, maintaining financial accounts, codifying laws and recording history. Around the 4th millennium BCE, the complexity of trade and administration in Mesopotamia outgrew human memory and writing became a more dependable method of recording and presenting transactions in a permanent form. In both ancient Egypt and Mesoamerica writing may have evolved through calendrics and a political necessity for recording historical and environmental events. Means for recording information. H.G. Wells argued that writing has the ability to put agreements, laws, commandments on record. It made the growth of states larger than the old city states possible. It made a continuous historical consciousness possible. The command of the priest or king and his seal could go far beyond his sight and voice and could survive his death. Writing systems The major writing systems, methods of inscription, broadly fall into four categories, logographic, syllabic, alphabetic, and featural. Another category, ideographic, has never been developed sufficiently to represent language. A sixth category, pictographic, is insufficient to represent language on its own, but often forms the core of logographies. Logographies A logogram is a written character which represents a word or morpheme. A vast number of logograms are needed to write Chinese characters, cuneiform, and Mayan, where a glyph may stand for a morpheme, a syllable, or both. Many logograms have an ideographic component. For example, in Mayan, the glyph for fin, pronounced ka, was also used to represent the syllable ka whenever the pronunciation of a logogram needed to be indicated, or when there was no logogram. In Chinese, about 90% of characters are compounds of a semantic element called a radical with an existing character to indicate the pronunciation, called a phonetic. However, such phonetic elements complement the logographic elements, rather than vice versa. The main logographic system in use today is Chinese characters, used with some modification for the various languages of China, and for Japanese. Korean, even in South Korea, today uses mainly the phonetic Hangul system. Syllabaries A syllabary is a set of written symbols that represent syllables. A glyph in a syllabary typically represents a consonant followed by a vowel, or just a vowel alone, though in some scripts more complex syllables may have dedicated glyphs. Phonetically related syllables are not so indicated in the script. For instance, the syllable ka may look nothing like the syllable ki, nor will syllables with the same vowels be similar. Syllabaries are best suited to languages with a relatively simple syllable structure, such as Japanese. Other languages that use syllabic writing include the Linear B script for Mycenaean Greek, Cherokee, Nd Duca, an English-based Creole language of Suriname, and the Vice script of Liberia. Most logographic systems have a strong syllabic component. Ethiopic, though technically an abugida, has fused consonants and vowels together to to the point where it is learned as if it were a syllabary. Alphabet and alphabet is a set of symbols, each of which represents or historically represented a phoneme of the language. 
In a perfectly phonological alphabet, the phonemes and letters would correspond perfectly in two directions. A writer could predict the speaking of a word given its pronunciation, and a speaker could predict the pronunciation of a word given its spelling. As languages often evolve independently of their writing systems, and writing systems have been borrowed for languages they were not designed for, the degree to which letters of an alphabet correspond to phonemes of a language varies greatly from one language to another and even within a single language. Abjads in most of the writing systems of the Middle East, it is usually only the consonants of a word that are written, although vowels may be indicated by the addition of various diacritical marks. Writing systems based primarily on marking the consonant phonemes alone date back to the hieroglyphics of ancient Egypt. Such systems are called abjads, derived from the Arabic word for alphabet. These are called abugidas. Some abugidas, such as Ethiopic and Cree, are learned by children as syllabaries, and so are often called syllabics. However, unlike true syllabaries, there is not an independent glyph for each syllable. Sometimes the term alphabet is restricted to systems with separate letters for consonants and vowels, such as the Latin alphabet, although abugidas and abjads may also be accepted as alphabets. Because of this use, Greek is often considered to be the first alphabet. Featural scripts A featural script notates the building blocks of the phonemes that make up O language. For instance, all sounds pronounced with the lips may have some element in common. In the Latin alphabet, this is accidentally the case with the letters B and P. However, labial M is completely dissimilar, and the similar-looking Q and D are not labial. In Korean Hangul, however, all four labial consonants are based on the same basic element, but in practice, Korean is learned by children as an ordinary alphabet, and the featural elements tend to pass unnoticed. Another featural script is sign writing, the most popular writing system for many sign languages, where the shapes and movements of the hand and face are represented iconically. Featural scripts are also common in fictional or invented systems, such as J.R.R. Tolkien's Tengua. Historical significance of writing systems Historians draw a sharp distinction between prehistory and history. With history defined by the advent of writing, the cave paintings and petroglyphs of prehistoric peoples can be considered precursors of writing, but they are not considered true writing because they did not represent language directly. Writing systems develop and change based on the needs of the people who use them. Sometimes the shape, orientation, and meaning of individual signs changes over time. By tracing the development of a script, it is possible to learn about the needs of the people who use the script as well as how the script changed over time. Tools and materials The many tools and writing materials used throughout history include stone tablets, clay tablets, bamboo slats, wax tablets, vellum, parchment, paper, copper plate, styluses, quills, ink brushes, pencils, pens, and many styles of lithography. It is speculated that the Incas might have employed knotted cords known as quapu as a writing system. The typewriter and various forms of word processes have subsequently become widespread writing tools, and various studies have compared the ways in which writers have framed the experience of writing with such tools as compared with the pen or pencil. History Neolithic writing by definition, the modern practice of history begins with written records. Evidence of human culture without writing is the realm of prehistory. The Dispilio tablet and Tartaria tablets, which have been carbon dated to the 6th millennium BC, are recent discoveries of the earliest known Neolithic writings. Singur Gaivol G. Kao is a world model from BC 5500 Mesopotamia while Neolithic writing is a current research topic. Conventional history assumes that the writing process first evolved from economic necessity in the ancient Near East. 
Writing most likely began as a consequence of political expansion in ancient cultures, which needed reliable means for transmitting information, maintaining financial accounts, keeping historical records, and similar activities. Around the 4th millennium BC, the complexity of trade and administration outgrew the power of memory, and writing became a more dependable method of recording and presenting transactions in a permanent form. Archaeologist Denise Schmant Besserart determined the link between previously uncategorized clay tokens the oldest of which have been found in the Zagros region of Iran, and the first known writing, Mesopotamian cuneiform. In approximately 8000 BC, the Mesopotamians began using clay tokens to count their agricultural and manufactured goods. Later they began placing these tokens inside large, hollow clay containers which were then sealed. The quantity of tokens in each container came to be expressed by impressing on the container's surface one picture for each instance of the token inside. They next dispensed with the tokens, relying solely on symbols for the tokens drawn on clay surfaces. To avoid making a picture for each instance of the same object, they counted the objects by using various small marks. In this way the Sumerians added a system for enumerating objects to their incipient system of symbols. The original Mesopotamian writing system was derived around 3600 BC from this method of keeping accounts. By the end of the 4th millennium BC, the Mesopotamians were using a triangular-shaped stylus pressed into soft clay to record numbers. This system was gradually augmented with using a sharp stylus to indicate what was being counted by means of pictographs. Round stylus and sharp stylus writing was gradually replaced by writing using a wedge-shaped stylus, at first only for logograms, but by the 29th century BC also for phonetic elements. Around 2700 BC, cuneiform began to represent syllables of spoken Sumerian. About that time, Mesopotamian cuneiform became a general-purpose writing system for logograms, syllables, and numbers. This script was adapted to another Mesopotamian language, the East Semitic Akkadian around 2600 BC, and then to others such as Elamite, Hattian, Huron and Hittite. Scripts similar in appearance to this writing system include those for Ugaritic and Old Persian, with the adoption of Aramaic as the lingua franca of the Neo-Assyrian Empire. Old Aramaic was also adapted to Mesopotamian cuneiform. The last cuneiform scripts in Akkadian discovered thus far date from the 1st century AD. Elamite scripts over the centuries, three distinct Elamite scripts developed. Proto-Elamite is the oldest known writing system from Iran. In use only for a brief time, clay tablets with Proto-Elamite writing have been found at different sites across Iran. The Proto-Elamite script is thought to have developed from early cuneiform. The Proto-Elamite script consists of more than 1,000 signs and is thought to be partly logographic. Linear Elamite is a writing system attested in a few monumental inscriptions in Iran. It was used for a very brief period during the last quarter of the 3rd millennium BC. It is often claimed that Linear Elamite is a syllabic writing system derived from Proto-Elamite, although this cannot be proven since Linear Elamite has not been deciphered. Several scholars have attempted to decipher the script, most notably Walter Hins and Piero Marigi. The Elamite cuneiform script was used from about 2500 to 331 BC, and was adapted from the Akkadian cuneiform. The Elamite cuneiform script consisted of about 130 symbols, far fewer than most other cuneiform scripts. Cretan and Greek scripts Cretan hieroglyphs are found on artifacts of Crete. Linear B, the writing system of the Mycenaean Greeks, has been deciphered while Linear A has yet to be deciphered. The sequence and the geographical spread of the three overlapping, but distinct writing systems can be summarized as follows. 
Crete and hieroglyphs were used in Crete from c. 1625 to 1500 BC, Linear A was used in the Aegean Islands, and the Greek mainland from c. 18th century to 1450 BC, and Linear B was used in Crete, and mainland from c. 1375 to 1200 BC. China The earliest surviving examples of writing in China, inscriptions on so-called oracle bones, tortoise plastrons and ox scapula used for divination, date from around 1200 BC in the late Shang dynasty. A small number of bronze inscriptions from the same period have also survived. Historians have found that the type of media used had an effect on what the writing was documenting and how it was used. In 2003 archaeologists reported discoveries of isolated tortoise shell carvings dating back to the 7th millennium BC. But whether or not these symbols are related to the characters of the later oracle bone script is disputed. Egypt's the earliest known hieroglyphic inscriptions are the Nama palette, dating to c. 3200 BC, and several recent discoveries that may be slightly older. Though these glyphs were based on a much older artistic rather than written tradition, the hieroglyphic script was logographic with phonetic adjuncts that included an effective alphabet. Writing was very important in maintaining the Egyptian empire, and literacy was concentrated among an educated elite of scribes. Only people from certain backgrounds were allowed to train to become scribes, in the service of temple, pharaonic, and military authorities. The hieroglyph system was always difficult to learn, but in later centuries was purposely made even more so, as this preserved the scribes' status. The world's oldest known alphabet appears to have been developed by Canaanite turquoise miners in the Sinai Desert around the mid-19th century BC. Around 30 crude inscriptions have been found at a mountainous Egyptian mining site known as Serabit el Kardam. This site was also home to a temple of Hathor, the mistress of turquoise. A later, two-line inscription has also been found at Wadi el Hol in central Egypt based on hieroglyphic prototypes, but also including entirely new symbols. Each sign apparently stood for a consonant rather than a word, the basis of an alphabetic system. It was not until the 12th to 9th centuries, however, that the alphabet took hold and became widely used. Indus Valley Indus script refers to short strings of symbols associated with the Indus Valley civilization used between 2600 and 1900 BC. In spite of many attempts at decipherments and claims, it is as yet undeciphered. The term Indus script is mainly applied to that used in the mature Harappan phase which perhaps evolved from a few signs found in early Harappa after 3500 BC, and was followed by the mature Harappan script. The script is written from right to left, and sometimes follows a boustrophedonic style. Since the number of principal signs is about 400 to 600, midway between typical logographic and syllabic scripts, many scholars accept the script to be logosyllabic. Several scholars maintain that structural analysis indicates that an agglutinative language underlies the script. Turkmenistan archaeologists have recently discovered that there was a civilization in Central Asia using writing c. 2000 BC. An excavation near Ashgabat, the capital of Turkmenistan, revealed an inscription on a piece of stone that was used as a stamp seal. Phoenician writing system and descendants The Proto-Sinaitic script in which Proto-Canaanite is believed to have been first written, is attested as far back as the 19th century BC. The Phoenician writing system was adapted from the Proto-Canaanite script sometime before the 14th century BC which in turn borrowed principles of representing phonetic information from hieratic, cuneiform and Egyptian hieroglyphics. This writing system was an odd sort of syllabary in which only consonants are represented. This script was adapted by the Greeks, who adapted certain consonantal signs to represent their vowels. The Kami alphabet, a variant of the early Greek alphabet, gave rise to the Etruscan alphabet and its own descendants such as the Latin alphabet and runes. 
Other descendants from the Greek alphabet include Cyrillic, used to write Bulgarian, Russian and Serbian among others. The Phoenician system was also adapted into the Aramaic script, from which the Hebrew script and also that of Arabic are descended. The Tifina script is descended from the libico berber script which is assumed to be of Phoenician origin. Mesoamerica a stone slab with 3,000-year-old writing, known as the Cascajal block, was discovered in the Mexican state of Veracruz and is an example of the oldest script in the Western Hemisphere, preceding the oldest Zapotec writing by approximately 500 years. It is thought to be Olmec. Of several pre-Columbian scripts in Mesoamerica, the one that appears to have been best developed, and the only one to be deciphered, is the Maya script. The earliest inscriptions which are identifiably Maya date to the 3rd century BC. Maya writing used logograms complemented by a set of syllabic glyphs, somewhat similar in function to modern Japanese writing. South America the Incas had no known script. The Quapu system of recording information, based on knots tied along one or many linked cords, was apparently used for inventory and accountancy purposes and could not encode textual information. Dacia three stone slabs were found by Romanian archaeologist Nicolae Vlasa in the mid-20th century in Tartaria, Romania, ancient land of Dacia, inhabited by Dacians, which were a population who may have been related to the Getais and Thracians. One of the slabs contains four groups of pictographs divided by lines. Some of the characters are also found in Ancient Greek, as well as in Phoenician, Etruscan, Old Italic and Iberian. The origin and the timing of the writings are disputed, because there are no precise evidence in situ. The slabs cannot be carbon dated. Because of the bad treatment of the Cluj Museum, there are indirect carbon dates found on a skeleton discovered near the slabs that certifies the 5300-5500 BC period.